Hi guys, welcome back to Stuffy Crates, or welcome to Stuffy Crates. Today we are going to be working on these Christmas ornaments. I'm going to do them in two different colors, um, a white and like a blue. Um, you will see me in this video doing at least the blue one, the white one I'm just going to do off camera. But you will see um, what I do further in this video and how the project turns out. I enjoy the process. the ornaments here all cured um they are so so sparkly on the front so basically all the glitter felt at the bottom which left nothing on that side so this will be the front and this will be the back um there is more that i'm going to do to these so bear with me these are so pretty though the color is perfect um, might have to do a little bit of sanding around the edges, especially this one, since this one overflowed a little bit because my level said it was level, but it wasn't level. But anyway, so that's how these ones look so far. Um, I gotta do some more designing and then, um, do some sanding of them and then we'll go from there. So I'll be back with you guys. So we are back to work on these ornaments. I have already cut out um, my words. Grab some transfer tape. Scrap here. I don't think. Yeah, I don't need that much transfer tape. And someone watching one of my videos said that I can reuse the transfer tape. So that's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to go ahead and weed these out, so I will probably fast forward this part. Okay, so I did make it a little bigger and I did weed it out already off camera. So I'm going to take this, which is not the right size, but it's going to work. Um, so I'm just going to do the Joy one on camera and... The other ones I will do off camera, but I will come back um, to uh, share the process of the next step. I gotta go get my thing. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to stick it on. And then there's the joy. So I'm going to do the rest of them off camera and I'll be back. Alright, so I got all the labels on both um, of my sets here, and then I have my little snowflake charms. Um, I have my white over here and my blue over here. Um, let me grab my glue. Alright, so I got my glue here. It looks like it's dried out. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so that's a no go. Um, let me find another glue. Alright, while well, this Stephanie goes and finds some glue, I just wanted to hop in here in the middle of this video to talk about my challenge, my birthday challenge. So, I wasn't expecting all these people to be subscribing to my channel. 
um, just for my challenge, it feels like. But I bet there are some loyal people out there that are not just joining for my challenge. But I wanted to put out there that in order to be qualified for my birthday challenge, you have to at least watch a couple of videos and have left multiple comments on different videos. Um, I would say three to five um, different videos of mine. Um, and they have to be genuine comments, not like basic comments, like point out something at the end of the video or in the middle of the video. Like I want you to watch the video all the way through and I want you to leave a comment on what you thought. Um, and I want you to be honest. So if you are entering my challenge and you have not watched any of my videos and you have not commented on any of my videos, you are immediately disqualified from my challenge. I'm sorry, but... I wanted this challenge to be for people who actually support my channel, not people who are joining just for the giveaway. I'm not trying to be a biatch, but that I'm being honest. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is for the people who are actually going to be sending in their entry, um, you get an extra entry point um, for the challenge because you took the time to send it to me. Um, I am not advertising my address on the internet. I do not have a P.O. box, so if you would like to send your what you're making to me, you can email me or message me on Instagram for my address. Some of you have already received my address because you have um, sent me things or I have sent you things. With that being said, I do hope some people participate in this challenge and I do want everybody to be qualified, um, but like I said... You have to be an active subscriber and visual. So you have to at least watch and commented on at least three to five videos. All right. Well, back to Stephanie. Hopefully she found her glue. So I end up getting my E6000, which if you watched my channel, you know I hate the smell. Let me get a toothpick here out of my cute little toothpick guy who has appeared in a Timu video <laughs> a while ago. I guess I still use him. He's super cute. All right, so we're a little stringy, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these cute little snowflakes on, on the charms. I just don't know how I want to to decorate them yet. So as you can see, I am putting the blue ones on the white. This one I'm gonna have to sand down. Um, I am putting them on the white ornaments. sanded. Let's do that one with the joy and that one there. So I'm going to sand these ones down a little bit and then glue them on 
and then the next time you see me um these will be sealed and ready for the next step which will be in another video because it does take a while for the resin to cure so thank you all for tuning in on this video and i look forward to seeing you all in my next one thanks for supporting me all right bye guys Thank you.